Welcome back to this brand new build, everyone. In this one, we are going to be working on the Hunter Killer. Okay, okay, so checking things out here looks good. I don't see anything missing here. Everything's on the trees, looks good. Not bad, alright. Okay, right, looking over the plants here. It's pretty simple, basic stuff, so that's it. One thing I don't know about these tracks is uh, they got them black here, but in the film they're not black. They're kind of a, a dark smoke silver kind of a color. I'll probably have to paint those later, but main body armatures. silver and flat black that's basically all the colors that's on this thing I got a lot of chrome silver okay all right all right so um, the only lights that are on here are like in the top here and on these areas here those are the only lights that there are on the model itself um, Okay, so that's like right there and there and the tops up here. So for the lighting, I'll be using these little things because they're so perfect in size, exactly what I need. So the first thing I guess I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the whole thing, the chrome silver, get it all done up and then go from there. Okay, so I got the tracks painted. Uh, I did not use the chrome silver. I used this uh, silver Vallejo Hobby paint. 
and it just gives it that that almost a metallic kind of look to it so it looks really good just gotta let that set then we can start building alrighty here so we got this track assembly in this one and we gotta duplicate them twice so there's gonna be four of them so let's get started with this in here alright so starting with this let's see we got these here that connect You know, it would have been cool if these wheels just snapped in. That way they were able to turn. But the way they got it, it won't do that. Okay. Anyway, there are uh, two larger ones. They go along the bottom and the smaller spool goes on the top. Got these bigger ones that go along the bottom here. Okay, just got to do that three more times. And I'm going to let the glue set for a while before I put the track on. <clears throat> and there we go. Got those all done. Now we are moving on to the hull assembly. Alright. So we got these sections. I'm kind of hesitant to putting the bottom on just yet um, because the wiring still has to come down from the top for the lighting and I need it to come through down the bottom to where I'm going to have the power source. Um, <clears throat> I kind of think it's so this is, the, this is the front here, the back. 
there's a possibility that I could make like a little drawer system here that pulls out for a nine volt battery and I could push it back in. That way everything is all contained inside. So it would just mean that I would have to cut a portion of the back out here. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, it looks like it would work. I would just have to build an armature inside here for the drawer to, f to flow on. For the 9 volt battery, you pull it out, replace it, push it back in. And it would have to have a little uh, handle situation on the back here so you can grab it and pull it out. That way everything is contained inside. There's, there's more than enough room for the power and all the wires and everything to go inside there. And then I could also have like a little switch here or put a, maybe put the little switch up here. That kind of thing maybe. this now it won't go in like flush down since this is on an angle it'll go in up on an angle so what I'm gonna do this will probably go right about here look like that <clears throat> so I would have to um, just drill out this whole section here I just have to replace this part with another bit of plastic which I'll paint silver Okay, well, you know what? I made the mine up. Let's do it. Alright, so it's got to be a little bit bigger than the battery. Okay, so I got uh, this here to make the uh, holder for the battery and this uh, styrene strip here to make the armature for everything to fit onto. Just go to uh, trace out the battery here. I want it just a little bit larger than the battery. I don't want it to be totally snug.
I got the sides, back, and the bottom. See, it's angled a little, little bit because of the curve on the back here. So, just got to glue it all together now. There we go. I'm just going to build the armature here for it to flow on. And it will be quite nice. There we go. Just something simple like that. There we go. Got it all spray painted there. Just got to let that dry before I do anything more. And then I figure I was just going to put the on off switch. I was either contemplating putting it there or just on the back here. Probably on the back here. So it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. It'll all be spray painted silver as well. So. There we go. Just like that. That's good. Alright, so with that's off to the side for right now, we are moving on to the gun pot assembly, which is right there. Now we're doing the front arm assemblies here.
Now we reach the head assembly, which is where all the LED lighting is going to be going. These appear to be the eyepieces here. Because there's um, clear parts for it here. So we got uh, these two right here that fit inside. here. Okay, if I can avoid putting glue in there, so much the better. Because I don't want anything to interfere with the light. There we go. Nice snug fit. point here where I need to put the hole for the wire to fit through. Just gotta let that set before I can move on. Okay, I got that 
that set there. Got a 100 ohm resistor on that. Let's do a light test. Just got to do some covering up there, but uh, other than that, nice. Okay, now, um, this is the bottom here, and this fits on here, so I need to drill a hole in the center of this for the wiring to go through, but I'm still not done yet, because on the top here, I got these uh, sections here um, for these caps that also light up. So there's like little cuts I need to make in there to be able to let the light through uh, on the side and on the top. Um, and then they just go here and here and I got to drill a hole here and here for the wiring to go through. But I need to find out their exact position first. All right, now <clears throat> on here, you can see there's a nib here. I gotta cut that area out a bit in this area on the side here to let I the light out that way and this way. So that's what I gotta do for this. Shining up on the one on the side. Looking good. Alright, moving on to this area here now.
Okay, so once this sets, I gotta drill a hole here for the wiring to go down into the main part of the body. I don't need to glue this because there's clips on the side there that just will clip it in place here. Might as well put it on. So. There we go. Now I got a place to put the wiring down inside. That'll go to the switch and the power source and everything right there, so that's good. I still got to chrome silver the switch here yet. <clears throat> Take that off. At least I know it's going to fit great. That's good. Actually, what I want to do is I want to put the head on here first, run the wires down, then glue this top piece in place. Um, I'm still waiting for the uh, paint to set on the other, on the head, but uh, other than that, we're ready to put this thing together. Okay, this also has clips, so no need to glue. getting there looking not too bad and with this stuff here I just uh, dull coated this so I'm just gonna let it set before I can put it in place all right now <clears throat> I just gotta get this soldered I'm gonna put the uh, pause over this and that onto the switch down here and then get the uh, negative side for that and this connected and that is all ready to go okay, there we go got it all hooked up it's not too bad all right let's do a quick light test And there we go, looking good, not too bad, got everything on there, a little bit of touch up painting to do and this thing is ready to roll. Okay, let's uh, plug the battery in, give it another light test here.
Well, that's it for this build, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I sure did. It was a lot of fun. But before I go, please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. Catch you all later. Bye-bye.